guys, welcome back. My name's Tins here, and this is episode 3 of my Let's Play series. So I had been working on an episode, but I had ran out of hard drive space, and by mistake, I deleted the wrong footage. So I had to start over, but what I did get done in with that footage is, I got a new building here. I got some scaffolding in a row here of where I want to a path for a road I just haven't decided the pattern I wanted to do yet but in the building here I have villager breeder got some villagers going I'll show you in a minute where I want to do the villagers but the main reason why I started with the villagers is because finding diamonds in set 1.17 has come kind of hard so I managed to get a couple villagers going, and I got Fortune 3 so far, and Mending. And then over in here I still have my Breaking there, and up on the top of the house there I have the uh, Silk Touch. Which I want to move down here, which is what the holes are for. I have an idea of what I want to do here finally. Um, Kind of what I want to do here is I want to do like a church that's going to be pretty much uh, like a starting base for me. It's going to be like a cathedral type church. Um, and then I'm going to have the front here. These are going to be kind of like catacomb entrances. And I've been working on digging this out. Um, in here is where I want to do like my actual storage area down in the middle and I want to do like cells for all the villagers along the edges. I haven't fully come up with an idea yet but I want to finish getting all this and I fell in a hole. Uh, I want to get all of this all cleared out and got it all the way down for like how big I want to do it and it's pretty much the in inside of that path along up on the top that's pretty much where it is it's got it all the way around so I just got to clear all this out and then plan out a wall for it but with that there's just a bit of work that's gonna go to it because also with that it goes right underneath in here so I have an idea here kinda what I was thinking is under here I would have an entrance into that exactly a kelp farm I think that'd look neat and have an underwater kelp farm right in here but some of the other things I got done that from footage that got deleted is I got a small dripstone going here and I set up another portal here I've done a little bit of entering into the nether uh, not much just around the basic area wasn't too much different from my previous let's play that I had for this world oh yeah my axolotls keep disappearing on me I've caught them like two or three times filled this and they just disappear I've named them and everything they disappear Hopefully I'll figure that out. Might be because of being over top of this. But I'll figure that out later. I'm not too concerned. Um, but also, I had managed to get... I got this enchanted. Efficiency 3, Fortune 3. And I got Silk Touch with Unbreaking and Mending. Haven't gotten another efficiency buck I want to find a villager hopefully soon but I managed to do some strip mining of course not a whole lot but I managed to get 40 diamonds so and lots of iron so it'll be good for iron for a little bit I'm not too concerned about setting up an iron farm quite yet but I want to get one going soon for doing automated farms and everything especially for getting honeycombs from these guys I want to set up a bigger bee farm just got a little basic one in here now. Just works good. Did I get both? Yeah. 
and that's it. But all three of them, or all three, all four have three bees each. And I'm gonna quickly sleep here. Okay, so for today's video, my plan is, is one, I want to get the skeleton spawner set up for an XP farm that I found in the last video. So we'll get that going pretty quick here. That'll be the main thing because I want to have a way to get levels to do some enchants and to repair my tools. And I want to get this all cleared out and get started getting my villagers down down in there where they're gonna be safe so I not too much of a concern of sleeping every night and get definitely get him down there because I've almost got him to diamond eventually want to get all the villagers so I don't have to go hunting for diamonds in case I die and lose my gear I can just come to these guys and buy and the main reason that I want to do this all here is be with the world spawn being just up on the hill there it'll be nice and close to come to get new gear and everything like that and i can just expand from here i want to branch out in this whole area so yeah that's where i want to have all all my automated farms is up in this area so it's an easy place to go to to get more materials because with Especially with the um, Guardian or this uh, ocean monument being not too far past those uh, glaciers. It's just, I like the starting area. And then once I get the storage done, I can revamp this area because what I want to do is with all the turtles around there, I think it'd be neat to build a wall down and around here and have a turtle sanctuary right in there there's a lot of squids all right so we're gonna get started first is roll a time lapse of getting the skeleton farm built up for an xp farm that way i can have my tools repaired and be able to get some enchants on my diamond axe and shovel and still need a diamond hoe or a hoe in general really and then we'll be able to go from there and hopefully get efficiency for my pickaxe and get working underneath here and get this all cleared out and go from there Alright, so 
got this we're doing good. I just get a couple levels up and get my pickaxes fixed. Haven't designed in here yet because I haven't got a lot of materials that I wanted to use. I thought I had more. But I managed to get a couple levels up so I can do some enchanting. I want to use those diamonds that I got from the strip mining before and make some diamond armor finally and get them enchanted. And hopefully put some enchants on my axe and my shovel. And if I have enough left over to make a diamond hole, I'm going to sleep and then we'll get up to the top and get the armor made and get some enchants done. Okay, so I got my diamonds and my lapis, and let's make these up and see what I get. And just because. There we go. Okay, let's start with this. Breaking. Bane, definitely don't want that. Efficiency. Oh, let's take a stab and see what I get from that. Just protection. Prods, anyways. All right. Nice. That's good. Just need mending on that now, and then respiration. Still just some breaking. Okay. It's not bad so far. Gonna re-roll that one just cause that's horrible. Breaking's not too big of a deal. It's cause I've got the book already anyways. I, I don't got the stone up here. All right. But what I want to work on next, I guess, is I want to start getting underneath here all cleared out so I can get the villagers down there and keep breeding them up in here. And that way I can get them in here and get the enchants I do want and just have a good area for them that's safe so I'll get clearing that out and I'll bring you back in once I'm done all right guys so been away for a little while had a bunch of IRL stuff to do and good news is I'm in a new place of my own finally and we'll be able to record more often because I'll actually have room to myself finally and be able to have the privacy so but oh, let's hit the button right I managed to get this all cleared out and I have some dirt down here because that's kinda the pathway I want to do for the top area this area in the center here I'm gonna dig it down a fair bit more and I haven't fully decided how I want to do this because I want to leave this open because it's still to the water and I want to do the kelp farm down here like I said but I have it all plotted out here these are the blocks I'm gonna use and have enough room for quite a few villagers 
Um, but yeah, that's the idea, and then this is going to be the pathway to get into them, so that I have a good amount of room. I think that's a little wide, though. It seems wider than I had it, than I wanted it. Anyways. But I'm going to get the materials collected up and I'm going to get started building this up and I'll bring you back once I have this side, at least this side done to show and just the direction I'm going to go with this once it's more, more completed. Alright, we are back and I just realized how closely my shirt matches the gold leggings. It's pretty close. Alright, so this is we got well this is what we got so far. Um I haven't fully planned out what I want to do for going down, but this is gonna be drop down because I wanna do my storage unit along the inside wall here and I haven't decided if I want to keep the blackstone walls, but I like the look of it. And did blackstone brick along, but moved my villagers that were up here down in here I still got the silk touch one up in the other house that I got to move down and um, the efficiency one that was up over or the unbreaking one is right here now and I moved I tested the railing out from up here this is where the breeder is I'm gonna make that look nicer later on just wanted to make sure it was going to work properly for where I had it. And I managed to get, I haven't paid, locked it in yet, but it's kind of high. But I wanted the paper tray to go with it, but still efficiency 5. And I got another one down here with protection 4. And I bought enough to lock them in at least. And yeah, I don't think I bought any from him. Um, and then I moved my Fletcher that was up with the unbreaking guy over here. And the villager I had wandering around here while it was working walked into one of these instead. So I locked, blocked him in there and I want to put more of these guys down here and just get a bunch of the different ones. These should be enough stalls for all what I want to do in here. But and then I got the roof somewhat filled in just a couple blocks here um, but there's a couple different designs I wanted to go with or have decided yet I'm thinking I'm gonna do this one with the um, blacksmithing table I'm just gonna wait until I got all the villagers that I want in for that because oh, I don't want them trying to lock onto one of these ones when I'm trying to get them to lock to the lecterns or whichever one you have it but yeah that's what I got so far and I'm gonna work on digging this out in the next episode and just get it all ready to go for for that and I have an idea for over in here because I'm gonna need lots of iron for the storage system because I want to try and do the uh, impulses filter so I'm gonna need lots of iron so I want to dig out underneath this area because down in here eventually I want to have the have a zombie in here for curing the for getting lower per, lower prices on the trades so that's why this area here is still open but I want to clear it out underneath or even back in here to get down that way you can start getting iron into here and it'll go right into the storage system afterwards yeah but I think that'll about do it for this video as it's taken me far too long to get it out and I just want to get her finished and uploaded for everyone to see and if you liked it be sure to leave a comment and a like and be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video